in the intense world of Salem, the next two weeks, spanning from December 18th to December 29th, promise a gripping saga of emotional turmoil, broken bonds, and unforeseen events that will keep viewers on the edge of their seats. The drama kicks off with Holly Jonas, who finds herself abandoned on her birthday by Johnny Demera. Left alone at the Demera mansion, Holly's emotions spiral out of control, leading her to a drunken encounter. In a fit of anger, she leaves Johnny a scathing voicemail, setting the stage for a series of events that will test relationships and loyalties. Chanel Dupree, sensing Holly's distress, makes a selfless decision to encourage Johnny to be with Holly during her vulnerable moment, despite the pressing medical crisis involving Paulina Price. Johnny, torn between his commitments, ultimately agrees to be by Holly's side, a choice that may have far-reaching consequences. Stephanie Johnson and Everett Lynch finding themselves entwined in a professional collaboration, team up on an article for The Spectator. As the week progresses, a festive invitation from Julie Williams draws Everett to the Horton House for Christmas Eve, marking the beginning of connections and alliances that will shape the holiday season. Christmas celebrations bring together an unexpected mix of guests, with Thomas and Charlotte Demera relishing the opportunity to spend time with Stephanie Johnson. Maggie Kariakis introduces Constantine Milionis to the Horton holiday gathering, creating ripples of surprise and confusion as Xander Cook and Sarah Horton arrive with Victoria Cook. As the week of December 25th to 29th unfolds, Leo Stark intensifies his demands, placing Sloan Peterson Brady under immense pressure. Stefan Demera seeks H. Demera's assistance, leading to Ava Vitalis' outrage and skepticism about their ability to trust H. Melinda Trask and Wendy Shin connect over reflections on their family dynamics, providing insight into Wendy's perspective on Lee Shin's treatment. Paulina faces a challenging diagnosis, finding support and guidance from Chanel, and a subsequent meeting with Kayla Johnson explores the next steps in her journey. At the Kyriakis mansion, Constantine unveils a significant announcement during the family Christmas celebration, setting the stage for a shocking turn of events. Constantine's fate takes a dark twist as he faces a stunning abduction, a fitting consequence for his involvement in kidnapping schemes. Ava worries about Harris Michaels uncovering her role in Clyde Weston's drug business, leading to awkward encounters and revelations during a shared meal with Everett and Chad Demera. Marlena Evans guides Nicole Walker Demera through a challenging therapy session, while a family outing with Jude Brady is disrupted by Leo Stark. The impending overdose storyline for Holly Jonas is subtly introduced, hinting at the challenges she will face in the coming weeks. Date Black receives an apology from Holly, paving the way for a sincere attempt to make amends. The drama doesn't let up as the bistro hosts a glamorous New Year's Eve party, promising special guests, shocking news, and erupting drama. The next two weeks on Days of Our Lives guarantee a riveting blend of excitement revelations, and mayhem that will keep fans eagerly anticipating each twist and turn. For the latest updates on the gripping saga unfolding in Salem, CDL remains the ultimate source for days of our lives spoilers, updates, and news. Don't miss a moment in which she played Ida Coyle, a prostitute who becomes involved with Warren Beatty's character, a gambler and entrepreneur. Once again, Duvall's performance earned her critical acclaim, with Roger Ebert calling her a stunning young actress who radiates love and intelligence. In 1980, Duvall had her breakthrough role as Olive Oil in Robert Altman's live-action musical Popeye. The film, based on the popular comic strip, was a departure from Duvall's previous work and showcased her talent as a singer and dancer. Duvall's performance as the skinny and awkward Olive Oil earned her a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress in a Comedy or Musical. The film was a box office success and helped to solidify Duvall's place as a versatile and talented actress. In addition to her early roles in Altman's films, Duvall is also remembered for her standout performances in several notable films of the 1970s and 1980s. In Stanley Kubrick's horror classic, the Shining, 1980, Duvall played Wendy Torrance, the wife of Jack Torrance, played by Jack Nicholson, who slowly descends into madness while caring for their young son in a remote hotel. Duvall's portrayal of Wendy as a vulnerable and terrified woman trying to protect her child was praised for its authenticity and emotional depth. Another memorable performance 
came in Altman's Three Women, 1977, in which Duval played a shy and awkward young woman named Millie Lamoureux, who becomes obsessed.